This conference will now be recorded. Okay, hello, hello Pratap, hello Maiba. So this is our first slide. If you are new, please try to understand. We are just starting. Okay. So first of all, we will discuss what is percent, and second is why do we need to study it? How to calculate percentage of a number? And fourth point, what is percentage to fraction conversion? So we have to understand this. Fifth is what is fraction to percentage conversion? Guys, keep yourself muted. And sixth point is what is increase in percentage and what is decrease in percentage? Okay, so the first question is what is percent? Now we understand that cent means 100, percent means 1 by 100. So you can denote percent by 1 by 100. It's very easy. Okay, so now why do we need to study it? As all of us are preparing for competitive exams, some of, our, uh, some of you are preparing for CAT, some of you are for IPM, and some of you are for other management entrance exams like TISNET. So you have to understand that this is really important because there is a section of data interpretation. So there are a lot of mm -hmm. questions in DI from this topic because you have to use percentage in all the questions of data interpretation. Yes, Aditya, one part in every hundred is percent. Very good. Yes. So also uh, percentage is really important in arithmetic. Why? Because there are a lot of topics like percentage. Second is profit and loss. Third is simple interest and compound interest, ratio and proportion, averages. So we use percentage in these topics in arithmetic. The screen is visible, right? Okay, 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 okay. So first point is clear, what is percent? Second is why do we need to study it? Because percentage is really important. And this should be the first topic which you start preparing when you prepare for any competitive exams where quantitative aptitude is a section. Okay, so how to calculate percentage of a number? Uh, it's a very simple question, how to calculate percentage of a number? So like there is a question 50% of 1000. Very easy, we can easily do it. 50% of a number is half of that number, that means it is 500. If I have to calculate 100% 100 of 1000, it would be the number itself, it is 1000. And if I ask you to calculate 200% of this number, that means the number would be 2000, 2000. Is it clear to all? Yes, no? Okay, so we have completed three questions. Now, fourth question is, what is percentage to fraction conversion? For this, we have to understand what is percentage to fraction. If I ask you 50% of a number, what you can do is, you can multiply that number by one by two. Is it, say yes or no, 50% of 40, you have to calculate. What you can do is one by two multiplied by 40. How do I get one by two? Uh, no, Anishri, you have not missed anything. Don't worry. So just try to focus now. Yes, uh, one by two of 40. How can I do this? 50 can be written as 50 by 100 because it is percent. So percent can be written as one by 100. I have done it multiplied by 40. So this is one by two. So this is the fractional value of 50%. Similarly for 40%, it is two by five. How can I do this? 40 divided by 100. So it is two by five. Similarly for 20%, it is one by five. So this is percentage to fraction conversion. Very easy to understand. 
any doubt Is it clear to all? Uh, there was some network issue, but it is resolved. Ah, uh, yes. So this is percentage to fraction conversion. Very easy. Now, similarly, if I have to calculate a fraction to percentage, so one by five is twenty percent. One by two of a number is fifty percent. We can easily do it. How can I do it? One by two multiplied by hundred. It is fifty percent. If I have to find out. 2 by 5 is what percentage value so i have to multiply this number by 100 it is 40% is it clear to all so now we have discussed what is percentage to fraction and what is fraction to percentage conversion very easy to understand yes okay so now we are about to discuss increase in percentage what is this increase in percentage suppose that i have a number which is 400 and if i have to increase it by 50% how much value should i add it how much value should i add in it 200 very good 50% of this number should be added that means there is an increment of 50% so this number would be 600 similarly if i have to subtract 50% of this number if i have to decrease so it would be 50% lesser value that is 200 very easy to understand any question guys do you have no okay so if you understand these basic things there is no question of percentage which you cannot attempt so these basic things you have to understand and then you just have to read the question okay varsha what point should i explain again which point can you please name it first second third fourth please tell me number please be very quick okay 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 let me explain it here uh, suppose that i have a number 100 so if i have to increase 20% of this number in it there is 20% increment yes buddy Uh, 20% increment. This value is 100. 20% of this value is 20. So I have to add 20 in it. It would be 120. So let's say any number. Let's say 500. And if I have to add 100% of this number in it, that means I have to add 500 in it. So it would be 1000. Now let's say there is another topic. Which is there is another uh, number, which is can okay, you please hello hello am I audible to all yes no ah uh, yes so now you have to. Calculate a number, which is uh, suppose that there is a number four hundred. Ten percent of this number is forty. I think you can calculate this. Forty multi four hundred multiplied by ten divided by hundred. It is forty. So if I have to increase this number by ten percent, I have to add forty in it. It will be four forty. No, Aditya. Ten percent of this number has to be added. I think it is clear now. Uh, similarly you can do it for decrement okay now i have some basic questions for you guys our first question is 30% of 80 you can easily calculate 30% of 80 pratap no uh, guys you have to answer only first question uh, very good let uh, uh, guys keep yourself muted please 
uh, how can I calculate this? 30 by 100 multiplied by 80. Can be done easily. 24, very good. Uh, no, Sandeep, it is 24. 30% of a number can be calculated easily. There is a formula uh, you can use this. You can use this here. 30 divided by 100 multiplied by 80. Uh, similarly, for 10% of 99, very easy to calculate. 9.9. .9. Very good. Very good. So these are just basic questions. I'll start from level zero to advanced level. In this lecture, we'll cover till advanced level. We will cover cat level questions in this lecture. Don't worry. Ah uh, yes, third question is 37.5 percent of 400. You guys can do it like this: 37.5 divided by 100 multiplied by 400. Easily we can do it. It is 150. So I have a trick here. In this, in this I have a trick. Okay, how can I do this? So I have to understand that 37. 0.5 is three times of 12.5. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Three times of 12.5. 12.5 can be written as one by eight. So it is three by eight. 37.5 is three by eight. So I have to multiply this number by three by eight. If I do this, please check. 400 multiplied by three by eight. Very easily can be calculated. 150. Is it? So I'll tell you all the fraction values which you should remember. And now I think it is clear to all. How does 12.5 come? Very good question. Uh, let me explain this to you. So uh, you have to wait for a minute so that we move to the next slide and I'll discuss. Don't worry. No, no. Uh, this this can be calculated very easily. What I have to do is you can directly calculate it. But what I will do here is 50% of 98 plus 7.14% of 98. 50% of 98 can be written as 49, isn't it? Akashish, don't use calculator. You are not suggested to use calculators. 7.14 can be written as 1 by 14. So this percent value has a fraction value of 1 by 40. So I have to multiply 98 by this number and it would be very easily calculated 7. So 49 plus 7 is 56. I don't need pen and paper to solve it. I can easily see that 57.14 percent is 50 percent plus 7.14 percent. And now you guys are confused, right? Uh, how how can I decide that I can take 7.14 separately. Uh, no, no, no. If you can check Ayushi, it, it, it is not four by seven. Uh, yes, I, I'll do it, I'll do it, don't worry. Okay, okay, so 57.14. What is 57.14? 50% plus uh, 7.14. You understand this? 50% of a number, which is 98 is 49, isn't it? 7.14% can be written as 1 by 14. How you can write this? I'll explain in next slide. Don't worry. 1 by 14 multiplied by 98 is 7. So total value that is 57.14% of 98 would be 56. Okay, so fifth question is the same question again. 62.5%, I'm doing it here. 62.5% of 800. 62.5 multiplied by 800 divided by 100. Very easily calculated. What I can do here is 62.5 can be written as 12.5 multiplied by 5. That is 5 by 8 multiplied by 800. It is 500. 
So answer for this question is 500. I think you guys are confused, right? Ah, oh, very good, very good. 50% plus 12.5, very good. Niharika, very good, Batsala. You can do it. Okay, so let me tell you all the fraction values which you have to remember. Uh, please learn all the values which are there in the next slide. Okay, so let me remove all the ink. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Varsha, let me explain everything. Ah, uh, yes, Bhavya, very good. Okay, so for uh, guys who don't understand fraction value, let me explain. Uh, okay, so can you please tell me one by two can be written as 50%, isn't it? Yes, no? Yes, uh, one by three can be written as 33.33%. Okay, one by four can be written as 25%, right, Varsha? You guys understand this? Okay, one by five can be written as 20%. I think it is clear to all. Similarly, one by one can be written as 100. Please have a look. Also, this is 50. This is 33.33. So one by six can be written as 16.66. Uh, guys, you are suggested to remember all the values till one by 20. Very easy to remember. You just have to uh, keep revising it and you'll remember, don't worry. So one by seven can be written as 14.28. One by eight can be written as 12.5. Now, in the previous question, where I calculated 57.14% of a number. Number was 98, right? What I did, 57.14 can be divided 50 plus Seven point two parts uh, can be divided into two parts. Fifty plus seven point one four. So fifty percent of a number. Here fifty percent of a number. I have to multiply this number by one by two, right? So if I multiply ninety eight by one by two, I get forty nine. Is it clear to all? Yes. No. Am I clear to all? Okay. Now seven point one four. Uh, I remember the, this table and I know that 7.14 can be written as 1 by 14. So 1 by 14 of 98. 1 by 14. If you multiply 14 into 7, it is 98. So this would be 7, right? You can easily do it. 1 by 14 multiplied by 98. 14 ones are 14. 14 twos are 28 and 14 sevens are 98. So it is 56. Easily I can calculate. Um, so I told you to remember 12.5 as well. 1 by 8. When I had to calculate 37.5, what I did, I multiplied this number by 3. Similarly, I did this here. So I multiplied that number by 3 by 8. Yes, yes, this table, you have to remember this. You have to learn this table and you can solve a lot of questions of percentage and data interpretation, simple interest, compound interest, profit and loss, a lot of your, a lot of your problems from arithmetic will be solved if you remember this table. Is it clear to all? Guys, please take a screenshot if you want. Yes, Ranjani, you can do it. Uh, suppose that, uh, let us try, let us try. Uh, let us try. So there is a number, 170. Please give me 55.88% of this number. Guys, please be very quick. You don't have to read this table, you just have to learn this table. And it will really help you a lot. 55.88% of 170. Very good, Bianca, very good. Uh, yes, I'll explain Ramesh, don't worry. Okay, a lot of you are getting 95. Very good, very good, very good. What I can do here is, I have to separate this 50 plus 5.88. 
I know 50% of 170 can be calculated by multiplying this number by 1 by 2. So it would be 85. I can write 85 here plus 5.88% of a number. 5.88% of a number. I have to multiply this number by 1 by 17. So if I multiply this number by 1 by 17, it is 10, right? So 85 plus 10 would be 95. Very good. All of you got correct answers. I think it is clear to all. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Guys, please, please be very quick. In case of any doubt, feel free to ask. Very good round. Okay, okay. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can take a screenshot of this slide. Okay, which, which question? Oh, please, Prano. 57.14. Okay, okay. Any of example? Good, good, good. I'll do it. I'll do it. I have to erase all the ink. Yes. Uh, let us take an example. So if I have to calculate 28.56%. Uh, no, Bianca, you don't have to remember any table for 2 by 3. You can just do it multiplying 1 by 3 by 2. Similarly for this. So it would be 66.66%. Uh, yes, I, I'll show, I'll show Anushka, don't worry. So 28.56% of a number, I have to calculate. It. Now, I remember that 14.28 is 1 by 7. So if I take the number to be 42, so if you have to find out 28.56% of 42, please tell me the answer. Very good, Udeshya, Raghu, Priyanshi, Bhavya. Very good, very good. Uh, so now, uh, please try to understand Pranav. So 2856 can be written as 14.28 multiplied by 2. So I have to multiply this number by 2. So if this is 2 by 7, I can multiply this. This is 6. And 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. I think it is clear to all. Aranjvi, what is it out? Uh, guys, keep yourself muted, please. Uh, yes, Bianca, please ask. If you have any doubt, please ask. Uh, please be very quick. We have a lot of slides to discuss. Uh, yes, Ranjani, I'll do it. I'll do it. So 28.56% 28 28 of a number. Number is 42. So I know that 14.28 is 1 by 7. And it is 28.56. It is 2 times of 14.28, right? So I have to multiply 1 by 7 by 2 again. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So 14.28 is 1 by 7. If I multiply 2, I have to multiply 2 here as well. It is 28.56. Am I audible to all? Hello, hello, hello. Uh, guys, please check your internet connection if you cannot hear. Okay, so it is 2 by 7. 2 by 7 of a number, which is 42. So 42 can be multiplied by 2 by 7. So very easily we can calculate 6 multiplied by 2 it is 12. I think it is clear to all. Okay, so I have some questions for you. Uh, okay, if you wanted to see the first slide, please have a look. Uh, I'll give you enough time if you want to take a screenshot. We will also upload the recording of this session. Don't worry, uh, just focus on the class right now. Okay, so I have level zero questions. You can easily do. Uh, please solve question one only. You have 30 seconds, very easy question. Question. 
put in question one has to be solved. Uh, guys, you are suggested. Uh, okay, okay, Ramesh, let me explain this question to you. Don't worry. Uh, I'll tell you the concept. Don't worry. Uh, guys, there is a point. Uh, if you are attending my session or any of the session of quants or DINR or English, I suggest you to watch the recording of that session so that you don't forget. Also, you have to keep your pen and paper ready with you. You just have to note down the important points which are there in the session. Okay, so very easy question. Uh, you can easily calculate. The question is genius gets 92% marks in examinations. If they if these are over 60 marks, find the maximum. Very easy question. You can do it. So 460 is given to be 92. So I have to find out 100 percent Can I do it? You can also do it. 92 by 100 multiplied by x. X is a number whose 92 percent is given to the 460. Find out x. Very easy question. So this will bring us to this. I have to cross multiply this and I can easily calculate. This to be 10 by 2. This is 5. So this number is 500. Uh, now let me share a trick. Uh, only first question you have to answer. But up, you have to wait. OK, so now let me share a trick here. So now I understand that 92% is given to be 460. Okay, so now I know that for 46 multiplied by 2, 46 multiplied by 2, I can get 92. Right. So if I take 1000, I'll get 920. But I have 460, so which is half of this number. So this should be half of this number. Isn't it? So the total number should be 500. Is it clear to all? Yes, no? Any doubt? No? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let me explain. Let me explain this to you. Okay, uh, first of all, we have to understand that 92% is given to be 460. If total number, total marks are 1000, 92% would be 920, right? Is it clear to all? And if I take this to be 460, what I have done is I have multiplied this number by 1 by 2. And I came to 460. So I have to multiply this number by 1 by 2 so that I come to 500. So answer for this question is 500. Uh, if you don't understand this trick, just go with the conventional method, which is like 460 divided by 92 multiplied by 100. But slowly, slowly, after some time, you will understand this trick as well. Don't worry. Now, second question, please try to solve it. Forty-five. Very easy question. Uh, Ten percent of fifty is five. Only forty-five students are left. Next question. Robin scored three forty-four marks out of four hundred, and his elder brother Batman scored five eighty-two marks out of six hundred. Whose percentage is better? Okay. How do you guys solve it? Uh, guys, you have to be very quick. Uh, okay, so answer for this question is Batman. Obviously, Batman is faster than Robin and he's smarter than Robin. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, now, see, the question is whose. So you don't have to tell me the percentage. 
now yes now how how do i do it uh, you guys calculated it but now uh, let me tell you a trade okay so it is 600 and it is 400 what is the lcm of these two numbers can i multiply this number by three and this number by three as well two sorry two it is 1200 now and it is also 1200 now so i have to multiply this number by three this number by two is it clear to all if i do this what is the value here so batman's score out of 1200 will be 582 multiplied by 2 and robin's score out of 1200 would be 344 multiplied by 3 is it clear to all now i can clearly see that this number is greater than this number why are we multiplying by two and three very good question let me explain it okay 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 so 400 is here 600 is here what is the lcm of these two numbers isn't it 1200 okay if it is 1200 i have to make it 1200 i'll multiply this by three and this by three as well this by two and this by two yes ranjini you can do it it is very easy to calculate if you want to do it but i can just see that if i have to multiply if i can make both of these numbers same it is 1200 it is 1200 i can do it okay so next question fourth question in a class of 50 students 40 percent are girls very easy question you guys have done it 30 boys and 20 girls 40 percent of this number how do you guys calculate this 40 can be written as 2 by 5 2 by 5 multiplied by 50 very easy 20 remaining would be boys which is 30 is it clear to all very good anjali okay so next slide so i have some questions for you question one uh, guys please solve this this question you have to solve uh, a student erroneously uh, erroneously multiplied a number by two by five instead of five by two what is the percentage error in the calculation guys please try to solve this question uh, you don't Okay, are you see very fast? Okay, very good. Very good, Anushka. But sit down. How are you guys doing it? Please share your approach. Okay, you know, let me tell you my approach. How do I do it? 2 by 5 is 40 percent right 5 by 2 is 250 percent isn't it very good Hitesh. if you ask me that how can i write 5 by 2 to 250 now 2 by 5 can be multiplied by 100 it is 40. similarly 5 by 2 can be multiplied by 100 it is 250 so error is 250 minus 40, which is 210. And I have to find out the percentage error. So I have to multiply this by 250. Multiply it by 100. Twenty one multiplied by four, which is 84%. All of you are correct. Answer for this question is 84. 
Anyone has any doubt? Okay, Raghu, let me explain, let me explain. Uh, don't worry, I'll explain, I'll explain again. Okay, so can I write two by five forty? Please be very quick. Uh, yes, Sanket, I'm doing it. Can I write two by five to be forty? Yes, okay. Five by two, if I multiply this by hundred, it would be two fifty, isn't it? How can I write it 40? I just have to multiply 2 by 5 into 100. Similarly, 5 by 2 multiplied by 100. And this is 40. And this is 250. Is it clear to all? Yes, no. Till now, it is clear to all? Okay. Now, I have to find out the error. So, this is the difference, right? It is 210. So error part is 210. I have to calculate the percentage error. So I have to take 250 as denominator because the correct value is 250. The question says that instead of 5 by 2, that means instead of 250, he took 40. Instead of 250, he took 40. So correct value is 250. That's why I took 250 in denominator. Now I have to multiply this by four to calculate percentage. So this is 84%. I think it is clear to all now. Guys, second question you have to attempt. Please be very quick. Oh, oh. very good. All of you are getting 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%, right, right. Three candidates, A, B, C, contested an election and received 1,800, 3,300, 3,900 respectively votes. I'm talking about votes. Uh, what percentage of total votes did A get? Okay, so first of all, we have to calculate total number of votes. 1,800 multiplied by 3,300 multiplied by Oh, sorry, I have to add. Uh, so this is 3300. Yeah, yeah, sorry, Pratap. <laughs> 1800 plus 3300 plus 3900. It is. Guys, please be very quick. I'll pass to them. <laughs> so it is 8100 plus 900. <laughs> so it is 9000. I understand it is, it is 9000. How can I do it? 18 plus 33 plus 30 plus 9. Yes, very good addition. It is 9000. So 1800 is what percentage of 9000? 1800 divided by 9000 multiplied by 100. We can easily do it. 2 multiplied by 10 it is 20%. Is it clear to all? Yes, no. Any doubt? Okay. So if you are preparing for testnet, this type of questions come in your exam. So this is the level of question which comes in your exam. Okay. Third question. Okay, Sanke, uh, what is your doubt? Please type in the chat box if you have any doubt. Uh, yes, yes. IPM brother was of this level. So I, I'll tell you, level two is for IPM brother. Very good. A stationary seller had some pens, sharpeners, erasers, pencils. He sells 65% of units and still has 175. That means uh, out of 100%, he sold 65%. He currently has 35%. So as per the question, 175 divided by 35 multiplied by 100. I have to find out. Is it clear to all? This is five times of this. So it is 500. Very easy question. Is it clear to all? How is 9000 come? Uh, okay, Sanket. We have to add 1800 
plus 3300 plus 3900. So I'll do this for you. 9 plus 3, 12 plus 8, 0. 2 is carry. 2 plus 1, 3, plus 3, 6, plus 3, 9. So it is 9000. This is how I got 9000. Is it clear to you? Okay, I'll explain third question, Harsh. Don't worry. So, okay, okay. Uh, suppose that I have 100% articles and I have sold 65% articles. So now I have 35% articles and the value for 35% is given to me 175. So I can easily do it like this. 35% of a number which is I can say X is 175. As per the question, I have to solve this equation for X, right? X can be written as 175 multiplied by 100 divided by 35. 35 into 5 is 175. So this is 5 multiplied by 100, which is 500. I think it is clear to all. Guys, please be very quick. And I expect that you watch all the conceptual videos which are there in your dashboard. Yes. Uh, see, I have done <laughs> 1800 plus 3300 plus 3900 and I have did this literally I have did this I have done this so please uh, 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 yes Vanishri you can do it but it will take a lot of a lot of your time okay next question so these are of IPM Rautak level I think uh, we are we are doing good, right? If you have any doubt, you can use the chat box. First question. Very easy to solve. Okay, okay, okay. Which one, which, which of the following? Yes, Shivangi, this was test level. You can also learn the tricks here. In case if your exam comes, very hard or difficult. So just be with us. Okay. A lot of you are getting C as an answer. Confused between C and B. Okay. Okay. I'll explain. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. So now in this question, uh, suppose there is x and this is y. If I take x to be 100, then y, uh, so let us see, let us take this to be 40. Any number you say, any number you say, I'll explain. Any number you say, 50. Okay, x to be 50. Very good. Uh, y. Please tell me why. 36, very good, 36, 36. Okay, let us take 36. I want you guys to calculate this for me. Okay, so X percent of Y. Please calculate 36 percent of 50. Oh, sorry, 50 percent of 36. X percent of Y. So I have to write X percent of Y and Y percent of X. Okay, so X percent, yani ki 50 percent of 36. So what is it? 50 percent of 36, it is 18. Yes. So I have taken a, an example, Tanya. You can give any number. So it is not 136, it is 36. Tanya, if you want to take another number, you can take, and you can just tell us the number so that we, I, I'll do it for you. Okay. So 50% of 36 is 18. Now, 36% of 15. Please calculate this for me. 36%. Yes, exactly, Tanya. You can take any two numbers. Yes, Ankit, you can take 50. I'll do it for you. I'll take 50. Okay, 36% of 50 is same. Exactly. 
So answer for this question is both are equal. Uh, if I take another numbers, yes, I, I'll, I'll take another numbers for you, don't worry. Okay, X, Y. Yes, Arshin, there is a problem with you because everyone is able to see the screen, right? Uh, okay, okay, okay. 90 and 35, 4 and 3. Okay, let's do it for 4 and 3. 90 and 35. Uh, guys, you have to calculate. So, 3% of 4, I can do it for this. So let us do 3% of 4, right? Now 4% of 3, 4% of 3. So can we see that this is 12 by 100? This is also 12 by 100? So both are equal? Isn't it, Tanya? Yes, Anjali, you took 90 and 35. So 35% of 90. I can do it 35% of 90 and 90% of 35. Both of these numbers are equal. So you can take any number. So this is just what your confusion. So X is greater than Y, it is your confusion. I have just created, yeah, it is here for your confusion. Don't worry about this. You can take any number, answer would be same for both both are equal yes if this is the question x percent of y is greater than so you have to find out x percent of y and y percent of x so let me explain this to you again so I, okay what is x percent of y can i write x percent of y like this yes no can i write this X percent of Y. Yes, yes. Now, Y percent of X. Can I write this? So this is X, Y by 100 and Y, X by 100. Both of them are equal, isn't it? Both of these values are equal. So answer for this question is option C. Guys, if you want to practice, you can take a lot of numbers of your choice. 50, 30, 20, 50 whatever number you like you can take okay now coming to the second question oh okay 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 second question is vijay dinara chohan bought 600 mangoes 400 bananas he found 15 percent of oranges and eight percent of bananas were rotten find the percentage of fruits in good condition okay all of you are getting 87.8 percent so let us check can we do it? Okay. 15% of this number, 15 multiplied by 6, right? 90. So I have to remove 90 from this. 510, I have not said. 8% of 400, which is 32. So, yes. So I have to subtract 32 out of this. It would be, guys, please be very quick. Yes, 368. If I add 510 plus 368, it would be 878, if I'm not wrong. Yes, very good, very good. So I have to find out the percentage. Multiplied by, well, divided by 1000, multiplied by 100. Can be calculated easily, 87.8%. This is the answer, very good guys, you have got it correct. Uh, question three. Trump had dollar three uh, two one double zero left after spending thirty percent of the money he took for the shopping. How much money did he take along with him? Yes, answer for this question is three thousand. I don't know why are you getting seven thousand. Yes, as per the question, he has spent thirty percent of the amount, right? So he now has seventy percent. Seventy percent. 
of a number equals to 2100. Now, x is 2100 multiplied by 100 divided by 70. Guys, you have to be very quick. I should not be doing this, but I'm doing this for you. It is 3000. What I do here is, uh, see, 30% is spent. I have 70%. 70% is this. 10% would be this number divided by 7, which is 300. I have to find out 100%. So it, I have to multiply this number by 10. It is 3000. Is it clear to all? Yes. Okay, next question. So those who are preparing for testnet only uh, can leave this session if you want. And if you want to attempt cat level questions, please be with us. And if you are preparing for IPM, be with us. And if you are preparing for test only, you can leave. Okay, in the second question, MB minus 92 from 1000 and do the percentage. What was the second question? Uh, in this question, yes, yes, yes. 92, how did you get 92? Uh, Raghu, how did you get 92? Uh, so how did you get 16? It has to be 90. 15% you have to calculate. Uh, guys, keep, keep yourself muted. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain this question again. Don't worry. So 15% of this number, 600 multiplied by 15 divided by 100. 15 multiplied by 6 is 90. 400. 400 multiplied by 8 by 100. It is 32. So 122. If I remove 122 out of 1000, Yes. Is, is it clear to all? Sanket, you understand it? Yes. Okay. Uh, so now this question, please attempt. Uh, if you are preparing for IPM or any other MB entrance exams like CAT, ZAT, MAT, SNAP, TestNet, or IFT, not TestNet or IFT, so you can attempt this question. So are you guys solving it?
Uh, guys, please tell me your answer. Navya, you have 160, Aditya 60. Okay. Okay, Kashish, you are confused. Um, those who have got 60, please share your approach. Okay, Anushka, your answer is 40. Unknown 40. And now what I do in this type of question is, so I just have to understand that class B has 50% more. That means if I have 100 here, I have to write 150 here. Very good, Bhavya. Now boys and girls, boys and girls. Z, boys and girls, right? So as for the question, number of girls in class A, that means number of girls in class A is equal to number of boys in class B. These two numbers are equal. So if I take this to be 50, if this is 50, now second line is the percentage of girls in is same in the both class. Here girls are 50%, but in this case, they are one third, that is 33%. So this cannot be the case, right? So if I take this number to be 60, it is 40, right? Because uh, some should be 100. Now, if I, I have to take this number to be 60 again, because as per the question, uh, number of girls in class A is equal to number of boys in class B, right? So number of girls here will be 90. So as per the question, percentage of girls is the same in both of the class. So here it is 60%. In this case, it is 60% too, because 60% 60 of 150 is 90. Now I have to find out the percentage of a student group are boys. What percentage? So boys are 40 plus 60, 100%. So 100 divided by 250 multiplied by 100. It is 40%. Those who got 60% as an answer, please check it again. I think I'm clear to all. Any doubt? Uh, no, Kashish, you cannot assume. Uh, I just took a case. You can also do it by like, you can export in X, this to be Y, and then you can do the same thing. So now I understand that what happens in this case is, I just took this to be 100 and this to be 150. So that my calculation part becomes very easy. Now, what I did is, if I take this 50, I tried taking it 50, it didn't work. Now I took it 60, it worked. No, Sukhutik, this question cannot come in TIS. If you are preparing for TIS only, uh, these questions which we are about to discuss won't come in TIS exam ever. Don't worry. So if you're preparing for CAT, IPM, and NET, that IRT, you can expect this kind of questions. Okay, if you take 50 and 100, uh, it won't come. Answer won't be same. If you take 50 and 100, uh, what is 50 and what is 100? Uh, yes, what is 50 and what is 100? Uh, so this question is very tough. It will come only in CAT and ZAT and RT. Don't worry. Okay, uh, Varsha, you cannot take number of students in class A, if I take 50 and 100, the question is not completed. Because if it is 50, 50% 50 of 50 has to be 25. So it would be 50 plus 25, which is 75. So 50 and 75 would be the numbers. You can solve it for this. Is it clear to all? If you want to take any other number like 1000, 1500, you can take 2300, you can take 
uh, Ashin, I can show, show it to you, but I want you guys to solve it using X and Y and send your approach of the group. Okay. And in case if you are not able to solve it, I'll solve it for you. Don't worry. So this question is here on your screen. 40% of the employees of a certain company are men and 75% of men are more than 25,000 per year. If 45% of the company's employees earn more than 25,000 per year, what fraction of the women employed by the company earn 25,000 or less per year? This is a question. Please try to solve it. I don't know your answer is 45%. I'll check. Adesha, please try to read this question again. Guys, I recommend you to make a diagram before solving this question. Sarah, your answer is 85. Anushka, 3 by 4. Very good. Very good, Anushka. Uh, Udeshya, you are almost correct. You just have to read this question again. Uh, what I do in this type of question is I'll just make a diagram. Am I correct? Now, as per the question, 75% of the men earn more than 25,000. So 75% of this number is 300. So this becomes 100. Automatically, this becomes 100, right? Now, as per the question, if 45% of company's employees earn more than 25,000, 45% of this number you have to find out, which is 450 and I, I can see that 300 of them are men so remaining part would be women which is 150 isn't it yes so this automatically becomes 450 because some of these numbers has to be 600 as per the question now what fraction of women employed by the company on 25,000 or less so I have to find out the fraction value of this. So 450 divided by 600. This is 3. This is 4. 3 by 4 is the answer. Only one person got this correct. Anushka. Is it clear to all? Any doubt? The question asks fraction of the women. Uh, yes, I'll explain it again. Okay, as per the question, uh, I took the number to be 1000. Men are 40%, it becomes 400. Women would be 60%, it becomes 600. You want me to solve it again? 
guys please be with me i'll explain it again please be with me okay so if i take this number to be 1000 40 percent men i can take m 40 percent men 400 any doubt till now any doubt till now yes no no very good uh, so as per the question who are earning more than 25 percent at 75 percent of this value uh, you can take 100 as well but uh, i knew that i have to find out 75 percent of a number um, so it will take a, a lot of calculation if i take 100 then it may come in points so i don't want to solve it in points that's why i did it okay 75 percent of this number how 400 comes uh, what is this sanket what is this 40 percent of the employees 40 percent of this number is 400 i think you understand it 40 multi this is i can do it is 400 okay so now 75 percent of this value earns more than 25,000. so it is 75 percent of this number i can do it for you Three hundred. Please solve it. Three hundred. It is hundred. As per the question, forty-five percent of the company's employees earn more than twenty-five thousand. Forty-five percent. So forty-five percent of this number is four fifty. Right. Forty-five percent of this number is four fifty. Out of them, three hundred are men. So women becomes one fifty. It has to be 450, and I have to find out the fractional value of this by this. 450 divided by 600 is 3 by 4. Is it clear? Yes, no? Okay, okay, Bhavya. You can share your approach. Uh, yes. Okay, so you, you just have, you just have, I think, what was your answer? You just have a mistake in your solution, I think. Okay, so as per the question, answer is three by four. Next question. Okay, maybe you took 100. Ah, oh, yes. Jetharal, who has a certain amount with him, goes to market. He can buy 50 oranges or 40 mangoes. He retains 10% of the amount for taxi fares and buys 20 mangoes and of the balance he purchases oranges number of oranges he can purchase is what guys please solve this question for me and post your answers as soon as possible
you should guess. I think you watch PMKOC. Okay, uh, answer 20 oranges, 90, 90, 70. What is happening? 80. Please write 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. A lot of you are getting 20 as an answer. Let us do it. Okay, so as for the question, 50 oranges or 40 mangoes. 23, very good. Harsh, how did you get 23? Answer for this question is 20. I don't know how, how do you get 23? Are no issues. So what I can consider now, I know that 50 oranges and 40 oranges. So what is the LCM of these numbers? Can I take this 200? So I, uh, that means data lab initially had rupees 200 with him. Can I do it? Um, so now what I can do it. So what is the value of an orange? It is 200 divided by 50, four rupees. Similarly, 200 divided by 40, it is five rupees. So value for per mango is five rupees and value for an orange is four rupees. Yes, Ayndula, I'll explain it again. So as per the question, 50 oranges or 40 mangoes are to be taken, right? If I take LCM of these numbers, uh, so initially I have to take LCM of these numbers. You can take 2000, you can take 10,000, you can take 1000, you can take 100, you can take any value. But I know that if I take LCM of these numbers, uh, it is easy for me to solve this particular part, right? Which is in circle. That's why I took 200. You can take 2000, you can take 1000, you can take 500, you can take any number of your choice. But to make my calculations easy, I have taken 200. Okay, because it is the LCM. So value for an orange is 4 rupees and value for a mango is 5 rupees. Clear? Um, so he retains 10% of the amount. So this is the amount. 10% of this value is 20 rupees. So I have to subtract 20 from this. Now I have 180 rupees. So Jetalal has 180 rupees. Right? And as per the question, he buys 20 mangoes. 20 mangoes. So what is the value of a mango? It is 5 rupees. 20 mangoes. I have to multiply this number by 20. I get 100 rupees. He spent 100 rupees in mangoes. He had 180 rupees. Now what is the difference? It is 80 rupees. In 80 rupees, how many oranges he can purchase? So 80 divided by 4 equals to 20. Answer for this question is 20 oranges. Is it clear to all? Any doubt? It is a very easy question. Uh, yes, people, uh, it will take a lot of time to understand that how can how how you decide. You can take it to be 100. You can easily do it. So you want me to do it? Okay, okay, 10%. I'll calculate this for you. 200 multiplied by 10 by 100. Yes, Vanishri, you can take 1000. I'll explain this for you. Don't worry, I'll do it. So 10%. I can easily do it. 20. Sanket, is it clear? Okay. If I take rupees 1000 with me, let's do this. Uh, 50 oranges. Please be very quick. And 40 mangoes. Right. Uh, what is the value of an orange? 1000 divided by 50. 
please be very quick 20 very good similarly 1000 divided by 40 what is the value 25 so vanishri i am taking 1000 for you please be very quick 2025 isn't it now 10% is gone 10% of this value is 100 so now i have 900 rupees with me and i bought 20 mangoes what is the value of 20 mangoes multiplied by 20 isn't it 500 yes i have 400 left so in 400 rupees how many oranges can i purchase 20 answer for this question is 20 oranges is it clear now any doubt you can take any number uh what extra oranges are you talking about people i'm not getting your question can you please be specific uh as for the question i have to find out the number of oranges he can purchase because he had only 400 rupees left after the taxi uh, fare he had 900 and he bought 20 mangoes of rupees 500 yes okay 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 cool. so next question in an election, Modi ji got 75% of the total valid votes. If 15% of the total votes were declared invalid, the total numbers of votes is 560000. Find the number of valid votes fold in favor of the candidate, that is Modi ji. Uh, guys, please be very quick. Okay, okay. Uh, some of you are getting three five seven triple zero three three six triple zero seven three seven zero three double zero. Yes, Angela, Ayushi, and unknown. So answer for this question is three five seven double zero. Yes, Anushka. Very easy question. Okay, now how, how do I solve it? Um, so you guys will see a calculation trick which I follow. Five, six, one, zero, one, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so I have to find out So out of these votes, 15% were invalid, right? So 85% were valid. So this is the value of total valid votes. So this question, hardly 50 seconds, 40 or 50 seconds. This question can be done without using pen and paper. Let me tell you how. Okay. 
okay this question can be done without using pattern paper uh, let me tell you how so i see that this is 50 oranges 40 mangoes i can easily like calculate what is the lcm of these numbers 200 and uh, that means uh, 50 oranges so i know 4 rupees per orange it will be 5 rupee 5 rupees per mango right and now as per the question 10% I have to subtract, so it would be 180, and out of that I have purchased 20 mangoes, and 20 mangoes of 5 rupees each, 100 is gone, I have 80 left in my hand, with 4 rupees per orange, I can calculate, it's very easy, the and it is 20, so hardly 50 or 60 seconds, maximum 60 seconds. Anushka, it is good if you have taken 1.5 minutes, uh, you can be very quick. You don't need pattern paper. You just have to understand the question and then you try to uh, understand what should be the correct approach to solve it in minimum time. Uh, it will come. Don't worry, it will come. Uh, yes, Sanket. So now this question says, How 180 comes? Uh, which 180 are you talking about? So we'll discuss. We'll discuss. Uh, let us discuss this question, which is there on your screen. Yes. So as per the question, if 15% of total votes were invalid, that means 85% of them are valid. So I have taken 85% of this number. Now MoDG got 75% of the total valid votes. So I have to multiply this by 75. Uh, yeah, in this question, you need pattern paper because uh, it has a lot of calculation part. So 75 by 100. So I have to find out this value. That means 56 double zero double zero multiplied by 85 multiplied by 75 divided by 100 and 100. So what I can do is this, this, this. Now, what I have to do is, I'll tell you a trick here. What I see here is this one, 56 multiplied by 100 gives me 5600. So I have to subtract 25% of this number. So it is 1400. So I can directly write 4200 multiplied by 85. So this, the multiplication of these two numbers, which is 56 and 75 will give you 4200. You can easily do it. Okay, why again? Because 75% of the total valid votes. Modiji got 75% of total valid votes. And valid votes are this. This value is valid votes. How multiplying? Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you everything, don't worry. Guys, uh, I, I want you to be very quick in calculations. And how can you do it? Okay, okay, okay. Yes, I'll do it. I'll do it again. Don't worry. Yes, Udeshya. Uh, so I, I'll tell you the complete trick. Uh, as per the question, total number of votes, this. I have written this value. Okay, 15% of them are invalid. So valid votes are 85% of this. So this is the value of valid votes. And as per the question, 75% of the total valid votes. So this is the value of total valid votes and I have to find out 75% of this. Yes, Bhavya, I'll do it. Don't worry, I'll take some of your speed match classes. I'll tell you a lot of tricks. I have a lot of tricks. I can, uh, I remember, I know like square still 150, but I can tell you to 200. So I'll tell you a lot of tricks, don't worry. Uh, don't start testing me, <laughs> don't ask. Uh, I have to focus on this question. Uh, so this is total votes. This is total valid votes. And now this is the votes which Modiji got. Is it clear to all? 
okay so i have to multiply these numbers now i see that calculation is uh, there is some calculation so how can i do it this 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 so 56 multiplied by 85 multiplied by 75 now what i know is 56 multiplied by 75 so if i multiply 56 by 3 56 by 4 guys can i do this i have to find out 1 by 4 of this number 1 by 4 of this number is 14 isn't it so it is 1400 can i do it you can do it like this if you want this is 1 by 4 so this is 14 this is 100 this is 1400 you you just have to understand 56 multiplied by 25 what i can do is 56 by 1 by 4 because 25 is 1 by 4 25 percent is 1 by 4 so and i'll multiply 100 later so i don't have to worry about that 100 so if i multiply this by 1 by 4 i get 14 so now it is 75 so i have to multiply this by 3 it is 42 and there was 100 so 4200 multiplied by 85 now i'll tell you another trick so how do i do this i'll keep these zeros aside so 42 multiplied by 85 multiplied by 100 these two zeros are here now just try to understand one thing uh, if i multiply 42 by 100 what i get 4200 and 15 percent of 4200 15 percent uh, people don't worry you'll get the recording just try to understand this right of 15 percent because i have 85 multiplied by 42 and if i multiply 42 by 100 i'll get 4200 and uh, i have to subtract 15 percent of 42 15 i'll explain it again i should don't worry 15 percent of this number is uh, 630 very good very good if i subtract 630 so i can easily find it 357 double zero double zero so this will be your answer three five seven double zero double zero is it clear to all oh sorry single zero it has to be not double zero there there should be a single zero Uh, do I need to explain this trick again? Okay, okay, okay. I'll explain this trick again. Don't worry. So I just request you to be with me uh, as I go forward in this question. Okay. So this is the value multiplied by 85 divided by 100 multiplied by 75 divided by 100. This part is easy, right? So 56 multiplied by 85 multiplied by 75, I have to do, right? Guys, are you with me till now? Any doubt? Okay, so 56 multiplied by 75 you understand that 25 percent of 56 i can divide it by 4 so it is 14 and i have to multiply this by 3 to get 75 so i'll multiply this by 3 it is 42 so there is 100 because i have divided it by 100 is it clear to all this is very easy you will understand it and you start implementing these things so that you understand the basic concepts of calculation also i recommend you to improve your calculations by like uh, so there is a trick which i follow always whenever i travel so i see a lot of cars right so suppose that this is a car and there is a number plate behind it and numbers are 36 25. so what i do is i try to play with this number 36 multiplied by 25 I get it, 900. This is how, this is what I do. 
I try to, if I see a number like this, 94949, I try to multiply 94 by 94 in my mind. I don't use calculator, I don't use pen and paper, I do it in my mind. So if I do it here, it would be 88. Anyone knows? Are you sure 8028? No. Oh, sorry, 9436. Uh, Anjali, 4 multiplied by 4 will give you 6 in the end. And Pratap is getting 8 and you are getting 4. How is this possible? So this is what I do. You can also do it. Whenever you see a vehicle, there is a number plate behind it. You just have to calculate the numbers. You can play with the numbers in your mind. Okay, so now coming to this part. So, so this is 56 multiplied by 75. Yes, Bhavya, I'll do, I'll do, don't worry, I'll do. And please post this uh, on your group in which you are added. So I understand that uh, from which book you are so you have to post this in your group as well. Okay, so 14 multiplied by 3, which is 42, 100. Now I have to multiply this by 85. So I can easily remove these twos and I can do this. So 42 multiplied by 85. So if I multiply this by 100, I get 4200. And I have to subtract 15% of this number. 15% of this number would be Guys, please be very quick. I told you. Any doubt, Ayushi? Till now, 6.30. 3, 7. This will be the value. Okay, okay. Let me explain this to you using another example. Suppose that there is a number. So multiply 36 into 25. How do you do this? 36 divided by 1 by 4. What I can do is this multiplied by this. So this won't affect this uh, number because I can do this. But this is 1 by 4. So 36 by 4 into 100. It is 900. Is it clear to all? Okay, Sanket. So let me explain this to you again. Guys, please do it for me. 50 multiplied by 94. Very quick. It is very easy. Please be very quick. Yes, yes, yes. How, how, how do you do this? Uh, it, it can be written as 1 by 2, right? Which is 47. So 4700 is the answer not 47,000, it is 4,700. So let's take another example. This is going to be the last. I'm uh, sorry, you can write 64. 64 multiplied by 75. Please be very quick. Seventy five can be written as three by four. Uh, Saran, it is not twenty five. Yes, 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 yes. So sixty four multiplied by seventy five can be written as three by four. It is sixteen. Sixteen multiplied by three. Forty eight hundred. Is it clear to all? Any doubt? Uh, Okay, so that is all for this session, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you have any doubt, please ask it on the group in which you are added. Also, you can directly message us on the group and on our personal number. So if you like this session,